There are many cases where we would like to use a weighted Euclidean median. For example, uh, in this case we are trying to locate a fire station in order to minimize the distance to probable fire locations. Suppose we have three neighborhoods, one that contains brick houses, one that contains wood houses, and one that contains straw houses. If we were to locate the fire station in the middle of these three neighborhoods using just the mean center, we would find that the optimal fire station location is right in the center of these three points. However, let's take into consideration the fact that straw houses uh, will burn at a rate of 10 fires for every, ha for every 100 houses. Wood houses will burn at a rate of 5 fires for every 100 houses. And only 1 in 100 brick houses, fires, uh, sorry, brick houses have fires. That means that in order to optimize the location of our fire station, we want it to be slightly closer to the straw houses and we don't mind if it's slightly farther away from the brick houses because most likely the fire trucks are going to have to serve as fires over here in the straw house neighborhood more often. So if we use if we use these probabilities of fires as weights for these three locations, we would be able to use the weighted Euclidean median to find the optimal fire station location. Now, this is a fairly simple example, but I tell you that these types of optimization routines are used routinely, say, by the military, trying to find a service depot where they can ship goods to troops who are located out in the field. Another example comes from, uh, from a classic case in economic geography called the Weber problem. The, the Weber problem uh, is one where we try to minimize the cost of transporting raw supplies to a factory and from a factory to a market. So in this case we have two, factor, two locations of raw supplies, one over here, one over here, and the market in which we want to ship our goods is over here, and what we're trying to do is find out where should we put the factory such that the costs of shipping goods to the factory and then the cost of making of shipping the finished product to the fact to the market is minimized now again if we were to ignore the fact that different goods can ship at different costs per mile then the best location for the factory is simply in the middle of the three points but let's take into consideration the fact that iron from location B travels at $500 per mile and paint from the material A travels at $100 per mile. In that case we can input, oh sorry, and the finished product can travel from a factory to the market at $300 per mile. So in this case we would intuitively think that the best, lo that we would be um, we would want our factory to be located somewhat closer to the source of material B and we don't mind if it's somewhere farther away from the source of material A and because of this relatively high case of $300 per mile we still want the factory somewhat close to the market and if we input these costs as weights into our weighted Euclidean median problem we could find the optimal location to put a factory to solve the Weber problem.